A uniform in any organization or workspace exists to promote uniformity and to defeat individuality. A career in merchantship is based on discipline and timeliness. When it comes to ship operations, teamwork is the most important aspect for making any voyage safe and secure. And Merchant Navy uniform helps in achieving the team mindset by promoting uniformity. Merchant Navy uniforms are also a matter of great fascination, not just for those in the industry, but also for those who have no clue what maritime professionals do or the industry is all about. For many, the uniform is not just two pieces of clothes, but an experience, an achievement, and an attachment to an industry which has made them what they are today. However, those who want to wear this uniform need to work hard to earn that privilege. Let us understand Merchant Navy uniform and its different aspects. What a maritime professional wears on board ships depend on type of the vessel and the nature of work he or she performs. For example, a mariner working on ship's deck or in the engine room will wear a boiler suit along with high visibility vest or safety accessories such as gloves, helmet, safety shoes, etc. Officer uniform on a cruise ship might differ a bit as compared to those worn on a merchant vessel. The idea of a particular uniform for the seafarers working on merchant vessels was introduced in the 20th century, especially after the First World War. Initially, officers and other crew members on board a merchant ship were allowed to choose their clothes according to their choices. According to historical documents, there was no official uniform for Merchant Navy until 1918 when the British Board of Trade introduced it for the first time. It is said that uniforms became part of the culture of Merchant Navy after the passenger ships introduced systems of stripes and badges to identify its crew member from fellow travelers. The system also helped to identify officers from other crew members such as seamen or ratings. Apart from helping to identify the ranks of seafarers, the uniform also talked about the responsibilities of crew members and brought more discipline into their job. The shining epaulets on the shoulders reflected the responsibilities performed at different times and other achievement of the seafarer. Though the culture of uniform aboard the commercial vessels continued until 1970s, the later years witnessed people moving away from such formal characteristics, especially in case of merchant vessels. While the crew working on board passenger vessels continued to be dressed up in their uniforms and other commercial vessels focused more on operational capabilities, making other sophisticated elements optional. At the same time, Merchant Navy cap badges were also issued in Britain. In terms of insignia, uniforms with full golden stripes are meant for deck officers, while engineer officers will have golden stripes with purple color in between on their uniforms. The gold stripes with green color and red color are being used on the uniforms of electrical officers and medical officers respectively. The electrical officer wears the same stripe as that of a third engineer or a second officer. The crew working as the chief steward or in the hospitality department will have golden stripes with white color background in cruise ships. At the same time, the merchant navy uniforms that features stripes with diamond can only be used by officers having the Certificate of Competency or COC. However, the feature on Merchant Navy dress displays slight differences from country to country. Known as Merchant Navy insignia, these designs 
were first issued for the Merchant Navy in 1940s by Office of Admiralty and Marine Affairs, Britain. However, nowadays the color differentiation is not given that much of importance in cargo ships as there are few crew members and only the number of stripes are used by both deck and engine department to differentiate the ranks. Deck officers working on merchant ship usually wear a white shirt and a black trouser with epaulets according to their rank when on ship's bridge, accommodation or mess area. The uniform is accompanied with black former shoes and a pullover or sweatshirt during cold condition. The cap, also known as pea cap, is a black hood with a white top having an anchor symbol. While working on deck or during cargo operations, deck officer can be usually seen wearing a boiler suit along with other personal protective equipment. Rating from the deck department also wear the same boiler suit and safety shoes. In a cruise ship, the ship officers usually wear white shirt and white pants instead of black pants that are worn in cargo ship when working on bridge or in navigational watch. Mostly, even the boiler suits in cruise ships are white in color. As everyone from the engine department spends most of the time in the engine room working with machineries, they are therefore always in boiler suits, except when they are in the officer's mess or on the bridge. Though during lunch hours, they can be allowed to have food in boiler suit because of time constraint. The formal uniform of engineer officers is the same as that of a deck officers. However, the epaulets change according to the rank. Engineer officers epaulets also have purple color in between stripes. They also have a symbol of propeller whereas those of deck officers have an anchor. The peak cap is same as that of the deck department. The engine room ratings also mainly wear boiler suits and safety overall. As mentioned earlier, ratings belongs both to deck and engine departments usually wear boiler suits during work hours. The cook and the steward of the catering department will mainly wear a white shirt black trousers and a formal black shoes or a safety shoes along with a safety apron if working in the galley. As being practiced across all the workplaces, the crew aboard the cruise vessels are allotted separate uniforms according to their ranks and jobs. The uniform of cruise vessels crew members sometimes also displays the company cap badge and other badges that are popular in use. For merchant vessels crew, on special occasions such as launch of new vessel, naming ceremony or yard delivery of a new ship etc, the crew will usually wear a usual formal uniform along with a suit or a blazer on top. The hands of the blazer or suit will have stripes on it indicating the rank of the individual officer. Today. The uniform and other dress codes that Merchant Navy officers follow have changed immensely. The uniform's design has improved much and of course the fascination of youth to be a part of that community has also increased in a noticeable level. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop your comments below and we will get back to you at the earliest. If you like this video, please subscribe to Marine Insight channel and press the bell icon to get notified when we post such amazing videos. Please like, comment and share this video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.